<clears throat> What's up YouTube? I'm here today. I am going to be doing a Q&A from the followers that I have on Instagram. They asked me a few questions and I am here to answer them for my first video. I started my YouTube channel in 2016 with the intention to upload videos and I never did. So here I am and we're going to start with our first round of questions. All right. First question. Have you tried the Tornador? Yes, I have. And I believe it's completely worth it. Um, I used it when I was working at a shop with a car dealership. Uh, I used it on plenty of vehicles, engine bays, door jams, you name it. And it would just mow through everything. I had the one, it, it, there's different kinds. So, I mean, you got the one with a little tank on it that you could turn on and off um, just to use the air or use the product with the air. And then you have the one which you know, where it's just a gun and you just blow the air around to rid the debris. Uh, but it's great for clearing out seats, uh, waking up fibers in the carpet when they're really tangled with dirt um, after you pre-treat. So yes, I have used it and I definitely recommend using it um, if you're a detailer and you're doing this professionally or even at home. Definitely get the uh, compressor that's compatible. Okay, second question. Can you apply wax with a microfiber finishing pad or would you recommend foam? Personally, if you're gonna be using any type of wax or sealant, I would just say to use hand application. I wouldn't necessarily want to take a machine to someone's car unless I'm correcting their paint. That's just me. Not saying you can't do it, but I would definitely keep that in mind. That there are contaminants on the surface of the vehicles, which could cause some you know, disturbance to the clear coat. The better safe than sorry, hand apply. What is the best tire shine at low cost? Well, my question for you is what constitutes low cost in your opinion? A lot of us have different budgets. Some people have, they're making thousands of dollars in shops and then you have other detailers making 40, $50 for in and outs. So honestly, if you want to go low cost, there are options. You have Total Auto Solutions who I've used. Um, I haven't tried their dressing. I use PNS. They have a dilutable water-based dressing that I use for interiors and engine bays. And um, you can use it on tires as well. And I think the cost per gallon, I don't know, was like 20 bucks for a gallon, 20, 30, maybe 34 for their dressing. But it's really nice. It works really well. It's highly dilutable. And I, I like using it. I use it in like a Mr. Bottle. A misting, not Mr. Like a, you know, Mr. Peanut. But yeah. All right, so moving on. Next question, favorite microfiber towel and where do you get your microfiber towels? So my favorite microfiber towel to use is hands down going to be the Clen microfiber towels. I mean, I've been watching them pretty much build up their business name for a very long time. I do, however, use the Chemical Guys towels for interiors because I just can't justify buying Clen interior towels at the moment. Well, the vehicles that I'll be touching aren't necessarily exotics right now, but you know, we're working our way there and eventually it will be all Clen. Um, so Chemical Guys towels work, but I prefer to use Clen. And I get my microfiber towels from Amazon or Detail Division, who is the sole distributor for the Clen towels. Um, why do you have such a glorious beard? You know, it took a long time to grow it. Um, I, I used to do just the, just the chin, just imagine it. Not that long though, but like, you know, like a little bit and everything else was off. And then like one day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grow it all out and here it is. And then I just you know, keep it trimmed. Sometimes it gets crazy, but yeah, that's how it happened. Uh, March 12th, 91, that's when I, when I came to and this started coming in real hot. Is six and a half hours a long time to do a full detail on an Escalade? In my opinion, it really comes down to the condition of the vehicle. With a full interior detail, um, without too much information, I mean, I didn't get too much information with this question. If you were like doing extraction and steam and dressing and all this stuff and it was a complete nightmare, six and a half hours isn't crazy. It is a little bit uh, of a long time because it generally takes me by myself about two to two and a half hours to do an Escalade if I was doing a full thing. Definitely strive to change your process found if you um, clean and dress like doors at the same time and then do the glass you can kind of do a sweep through a car in a more fluent motion which takes a little bit less time and having your equipment ready at the same time helps um, how much do you charge for engine bay detailing i charge 50 bucks 49.99 uh, i don't really feel like it should be more than that now if the engine is highly neglected and they want it to look like showroom definitely let them know the risks involved i have detailed my brother's engine bay and he had like seized up something in his engine something was messed up beyond like what i knew about um it didn't ruin his car but 
like there was a oh, it was a break in the seal or something like that. Like he had bad seals and the, the vehicle had like 300,000 miles. And what happened was water afterwards that didn't dry up seeped into his engine and then it caused something to go wrong. And yeah. But yeah, be careful when you're detailing engines. You definitely want to know what you're doing, but there's really not much to look out for with these newer vehicles. Can I use heavy degreaser to remove stains? Yes, degreaser, some degreasers. I'm not saying all degreasers. The degreaser I have from PNS, it is dilutable and you can use it on fabrics. It even says so on the front. So I think it's called Envirically. I'll link it. And I had this question three times, three different ways. So I'm just gonna answer this for the masses. What is a good way to get clients as a new detailer? The best way that you can get clients right now in the current climate, offer prices that are reasonable. Take care of the people who are supporting your business. It's going to pay off in the long run. You have to put yourself out there. You have to call businesses, offer your services. It goes on, it go 10 different ways of how you can put yourself out there. Connecting with other small businesses in the area that are in no reflection or no competition with you, you can link with them and do something together. I mean, there's a lot of brick and mortar businesses that could use the exposure. Who doesn't want a clean car, lower your prices? They, you know, like, there's a, there's a lot of different ways you can be creative with it. Um, do you have a business card? Do you have a website? Is your social media set up? How is your social media set up? Are you, do you have a clear set message? Who's your target clientele? There's a lot of questions that I have for new detailers that if they're answered, then there's like another step that's just taken after that. Okay, so what are you doing with um, those platforms? What are you doing with your business cards? How are you reaching out to people through your website? Are you on Google? How do I explain to my customers when they choose me, they're paying for professional results. Um, without being too cocky, I guess, with your client, because a lot of people, I've been, I've, I've had all these phone calls where people will try to downplay your services or ask for a discount or less, whether it be veteran discount or like a senior discount or something like that, or they just plain out think that your services are too expensive. Honestly, you can explain your process to assure them that they're in good hands, maybe refer them to your online reviews, show them your work on Instagram, refer them to your social medias and if at that point they, they don't understand or they don't want to pay what you're worth then that's just not your client you know not everybody is going to have the ideal phone call every time your phone rings you're not going to have somebody that's going to be like oh wow that's the price perfect now i've had those phone calls where someone's like how much and i say like 500 dollars, and they'll be like perfect uh do you want it in cash or card you know you have those people and then you'll have the 500 oh my god <laughs> That. Like, you know, like it's like you called, you inquired, you got my price and now you're not happy. You know, that's, you know, that's just not your client. But what you can do as an entrepreneur and as a business owner, you could actually find out the businesses that are a little bit less than you and you can refer them because when they're not able to take care of that client because they don't offer the services you do because you're a little bit higher, you just now developed a business relationship with someone that's local that's in no way competition with you. You might do the same thing, but you cater to two different clientels. So think about that when you're on the phone with your, with your clients. You could also refer someone lesser to you, lesser than you, so it fits within their budget and they're happy. Hell, you might even get a good review off of that. I've gotten a bad review by telling someone I didn't work in Hawaii anymore. That's why I left you. Long story short, really. Um, do you detail interior or exterior first? I go interior first, always, and then when you do the exterior wheels, then the exterior, done dada, finish her up. Now let's be honest, nobody ever wants to go to an interior, no matter the condition, after detailing the exterior. It's hot, you don't want to be all sweaty and clammy and like lean in on things on the inside, just start off. Get that interior out the way. Keep it simple. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the Q&A. Thank you guys, all the early subscribers. Thank you for being patient. I think it's insane that I have over 100 right now and we just gotta move into our new home. I've been getting settled. I'm going to school full time right now and um, building the garage downstairs so we can get ready for paint correction. Very excited to get started with detailing here in Las Vegas. There's a lot more videos to be made, a lot of knowledge to be passed on, and a lot of growth to be had. So stay tuned, be as excited as I am, and my next video, it is an unboxing of products and I'll be telling you why I use these products and all this other good stuff. So stay tuned for my next video. Thank you for watching and feel free to hit me up on IG and ask me more questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. I can't wait to impact the detail community the way that I have been on Instagram. Thank you so much again. Bye.